Jupiter Media presents. Swingbo University is partnership with ECA. Sydney campus is operated by ECA. ECA stands for Education Centre of Australia. Swingbo Sydney is a part of Swingbo University of Technology. This university has a long history, creating social and economic impact through science, technology, and innovation. Swingbo University performed very high in all the round ranking in the world. Swingbo University also performed very high in student experience survey as well as graduate outcome with the highest employment employment rate. Destination Australia promoting Australian education and development of Nepalese diaspora in Australia. Hello and namaste. Welcome to Destination Australia Television Show. We are trying to give you the fresh information about study opportunities in Australia to provide you the fresh information, quality of education and the experience of international students experience. We have already visited five top cities of Australia, Sydney, Melbourne, Darwin, Brisbane and Perth. And now we are continuously telecasting the Destination Australia television show. During this uh, phase, we are going to talk about Swinman University of Technology, Sydney, um, which is partnership with ECA, Education Centre Australia. To provide you the fresh information and educational opportunities in Sydney, we have very special guest from Swinman University of Technology, Sydney, who is none other than uh, Lena Wang. She is Head of International Student Recruitment. Uh, let's welcome her to the show. Lina, you are welcome on our show. Thank you. Namaste. Lina, thank you so much. We are quite happy to having you to share the fresh information about Swinburne University and the services uh, from uh, partnership organization uh, ECA. So first of all, would you please tell us something about your Nepal visit for this time? Um, it's my first time to Nepal. I arrived last week. I am attending some education fairs, meeting students as well as our education agent partners. I will stay until Sunday where I depart to Sydney. Okay, so let's have a talk about the Swinman University of Technology Sydney. Uh, it's quite popular organization and uh, like numbers of uh, international graduates are already passed out from the Swinman University and uh, like um, uh, growing their professional horizon throughout the whole world. In this case, let's have a talk about the university. Swinburne Sydney is a part of Swinburne University of Technology. This university has a long history creating social and economic impact through science, technology and innovation. Swinburne University performed very high in all the round ranking in the world. Swinburne University also performed very high in student experience survey as well as graduate outcome with the highest employment, employment rate. So let's have a talk about the quality of education. So how does Swinman University of Technology Sydney is trying to deliver global standard education in Australia? Yes, yeah, so Swinman University has a reputation for quality education and world-class research. So that's why Swinman University always attract the industry lead and, and the qualified lecture to having our student to teaching um, to teaching the international student. So you will learn from academic staff who not only have industry experience but also bring the experience to life through the life study. Okay. So let's have a talk about the popular courses. What are the popular courses at Swinman University of Technology? Yeah. So Swinman University Sydney campus at this stage only deliver the master course. So we don't have undergraduate course yet. We are going to open the undergraduate course very soon. So the popular course in our university is Master of Construction. The construction is not only a popular course, but also it's very high demand in Australia, as, uh, especially in New South Wales. And we also have a popular course called Master of Data Science, which I heard from, uh, from students that it's, it's like a very popular among the young students. And we have Master of IT in Professional Computing. In the recent um, months, we also see an increased demand toward MBA course. During our visit, uh, students often like sharing about their university infrastructure, faculty, facilities, and international student caring unit. In this case, how do uh, Swinman University of Technology Sydney is supporting international students? Okay. At Swinburne Sydney, we provide a very unique learning experience to our students. 
So through industry connection, that our costs are relevant and to align industry trend and changes. Okay, we have teaching staff who from very diversified culture background, who has a qualification and most importantly, who has the passion to teaching and engage students. We provide all possible flexible to our students. For example, our timetable is flexible to meeting the students' need because sometimes students' life can be very busy. We provide personalized learning to all our students. Our students can access to our course coordinator. Our students can access to their teacher. Our students can also access to Dean of Swinburne Sydney. So students will have a very friendly environment to engage with the teaching staff in campus. We also provide opportunity to students to get feedback on their uh, assessment, so which actually enables students to, go, to gain the confidence um, before they submit the final their assignment. Okay, Lina. So let's have a talk about Nepalese student response there. Uh, so what is your experience with Nepalese student and how they are doing? This is a very interesting question. Yeah. Um, so through so last week to this week, uh, I engaged with uh, quite a few Nepalese students personally face to face. Yeah. I noticed uh, there are two different groups of Nepalese students. I would say a small group of students, they've been very, very bright. They, they, I would say the talented student because they understand my university in somehow better than me. I met a student in JIT1. He came in to me saying, hey, Lena, I know your IT course have a very good unit. I want to do this for unit first and then move into the rest of the unit. Yeah, so they're absolutely bright. So because our university have a quite um, strict cri uh, criteria in um, accepting Nepalese students. So the students currently study in Swinburne, Sydney. They are very good students. They perform very, very well. We have a Nepalese boy. Her name is Yaman Mahanjan. He's now our student mentor. So student mentor means students perform very well and university asks the student to help him with the new students. We also have a first Nepalese female student who graduated from construction who is going to get in a big award. University have not yet announced it yet, but we got uh, the notice already. The student we are getting award. She's from Nepal and a female students. However, I also met many students uh, who have quite limited knowledge or understanding about Australia. When I asked them how many universities you heard of in Australia and what you think about the study in Australia, um, they, they couldn't say a lot. They would say, oh, okay, my family asked me to do and my agent asked me to do. My suggestion as an international student myself many years ago, I would encourage a student in Nepal to do more research about Australia, about the education system, about the country, about the culture, as well as my university. Okay, definitely. Nepalese students are uh, like uh, doing uh, very good research on abroad study options and opportunities. And even they frequently asking our television um, uh, protocol uh, that uh, what sort of the opportunities are there in terms of like deserving students and those who want to like uh, grab the best scholarship. So uh, is there any that sort of scholarship schemes in Swinburne, Sydney? Talking about scholarship, yes. So Swinburne University of Technology always want to support international students, especially in science and technology field. We currently have a 30% scholarship offered to students who enroll in Master of Construction, enroll in Master of Data Science, and enroll in Master of IT course. We also have some academic excellent scholarship, for example, the MBA scholarship, which were based on students' GPA. So we don't have a fixed amount. It will uh, vary from 10%, 20%, up to 30%, depending on students' GPA performance. So, Lina, how does Swinburne University of Technology Sydney is collaborating to uh, different institutions to explore a student's uh, professional horizon? Swinburne University is partnership with ECA. Sydney campus is operated by ECA. ECA stands for Education Centre of Australia. Under ECA portfolio, there are a number of university partners, as well as ECA College provide higher education course, for example, APIC. So the university partnership a partner including Swinburne University, Victoria University, Canberra University, and University of Tasmania. So Swinburne Sydney students will have the chance to engage or say interactive with the student from the other college, from the other university. 
Besides this, our university also organizes social night or the other activity to bring students together. For example, to bring students from construction faculty to get to know students from MBA faculty. So we provide also the facility to make students' life more interesting. Okay, great. So, Lina, we are at the end of this session. So, uh, what is your message to the prospective students and parents, those who are trying to get best university, best college in Australia? During my short visit in Nepal, I really like the country. So people are very friendly. They help me in all aspects. For students, I can see they're very keen in study overseas. So my advice to students will be using all the channels, opportunity to get to know the university, the country, the city you are going to spend time with. Student, if you want to, if you, if student would like to know about Swinburn University, ECA, Swinburn Sydney. Students are welcome to go to our website or our Facebook page or through our local education agency to know more about our course. Okay, thank you so much for your valuable time and thoughts. Thank you. Destination Australia, promoting Australian education and development of Nepalese diaspora in Australia.